What's up, this your boy Boss Man, and welcome back to the channel, man. Today is another beautiful day in the fish room. You already know the grind don't stop, man. We gotta keep grinding every single day, bringing this fire content and just putting on for the community. So, what's going on today? We got a few things going on. Today, I wanna uh, play with this tank a little bit and do a couple things to it. Um, I'm also going to be showing you guys how I made a, um, it's not gonna be a real in-depth, but I'm gonna show you how I made a DIY internal filter. This is a filter that it's not new, People have done it on YouTube, it's nothing crazy. This is something I've been using for years, back when I was 14 years old, I had my own uh, fish tank cleaning business. I was you know, doing this in my customer's uh, tank. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that today. I put one on this aquarium, I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. And we're gonna talk about what's going on back there in the pond. We're gonna talk about some new tanks that I put up here and, and future plans about that. We just got a lot going on always. So I'm gonna keep y'all entertained. But before we get started, I just want to say thank you guys, man. We hit 8,000 subscribers today, so that was super dope, man. Uh, we got 8,000 boss family members, man. 8,000 fish keepers, fish nerds that just love to fish, man. So that's super dope, man. So shout out to y'all. We're going to keep growing. We're going to keep grinding. Next is 9K, next is 10K, and then we up to the roof. We're just trying to make it to the ceiling, right? We're trying to grow. And I want to start doing like some giveaways, you know, because I want to show my appreciation. So I'm I don't know if it's giving away some fish or giving away an uh, aquarium or something. We got to do something to show you guys support for supporting me. So I'm going to figure out something for y'all. So stay tuned for that. But enough of that. We're going to go ahead and get into this video first. I'm going to send you guys back to yesterday when I recorded moving the big clown knife to the pond down there. So we moved the clown knife to the pond yesterday. So I'm going to send you guys back to that footage and then we'll be back. Somebody got to go to the pond today. Somebody. Somebody got to go to the pond. Somebody gotta go to the pond. And I'm thinking it's gonna be the clown. I'm just afraid he's gonna jump out. That's my biggest fear. So I'm standing on camera right now. So if y'all see him on the flow, <laughs> <laughs> just know that I, I said blood it. Pair, the blood pair gotta go over here. Man. Yeah, he can go kick it with the, uh, blood pair gotta go over he can go there. kick it with the red devil. But he was doing good in here, but that alcohol just that, maybe they trying to breed. I've been thinking they about that. Cause they cleaning the rock off with their mouth and stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. signs of, you know what I'm saying? That's signs of spawn. So yeah, they might be trying to spawn, and they've been just in this corner. In that by corner. Th so it's time. It's time to make a change. Man. Yeah, we gonna have to make a change, man. I love my Oscars, but they just some bullies. So look at them. Yeah, they. You see the fish? They won't even go to that corner. So you know what's something going. Yeah, there's some spawning activity. I don't want no Oscar babies. Why not? I don't want no Oscar babies. You're right. <laughs> You're right. But all right, man. So we're going to net this big joker out of here. I guess he's going to go to the pond, man. So this is the 100 gallon pond. And I had a species of fish that's going to still probably still going here. I still got to get that. Still got to get them. Still got to get it. Still got to get it. We got to do what's best for we the fish do, that's here right now. For, yeah, exactly. So that's a 72 gallon. The Oscars are in there fighting, tripping in there, so we can't keep doing that. Here, he'll be able to have a full swim room. I don't know, how how deep would you say this is? 18 to 24 or what? I would yeah, stick my hole. Yeah, it's probably about 18. So, I feel like it's, it's enough room. It's, it's pretty. It's pretty deep. Yeah, it's pretty deep. So, he'll have enough room to swim around, do his thing. He don't really do much anyway. He's a monster. He just sit there anyway. Bro. Yeah. And there, man, he, man, he getting beat up. Yeah, there. he getting beat up in there, so they ain't gonna keep working. It's time for him to come up out of there. <sighs> Let me get the net. My black one fits him perfect, almost. Yeah, I'll pop that top off of there. Yeah. Woo! Will he try to attack? Who? The Oscar? Cause he they... trying to attack me. No, I seen he came over here. So I thought maybe he, well, yeah, cause dude darted over there. That's what I'm saying. He, he cause when he gets scared, G, he tweaks. Who him? He tweaks hard when he gets scared. He, cause that's why I'm scared right. for him to go in here. It'd be alright, man. What, what you scared of, man? Get him out. You catch? I'm recording. You scared, man? Hold on. Let me get. Hold on. We gotta get the shot. What talking about? Now we gotta get the shot. Yeah, gotta get the shot. Got to get the shot. Look at him, cause you hot. Cause you better get cooled down. Oh, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> Cause he gonna cool you down for sure. Last thing I'm worried about is the fish. Mm. 
bring them up here and we just gonna sit them up. Just gonna pull them straight out. Oh yeah, we about to throw him right in there. Now we gotta let him sit and chill, cuz. He gotta relax, All right, G. here, you do it then, man. He gotta relax, G. Let him relax then. Cuz he gotta relax, G. He ain't gotta relax, man. He ready to go right now. All right, I don't think so. Hey, give me this neck. All right, let's go. You ready? To, you ready? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Be cool, be cool. Be cool. <laughs> I told you. You gotta be ready. I'm ready. He in there. Oh, he look good in there. Ooh. That's the black hole. Yeah, he scared the crap out of me. I ain't gonna cut. He in there though. For sure. Did he am I am I still dry? No, you dry. I'm dry. You did better than I did the first one. I moved him out of that 55. Boy, I got soaked. I'm trying. Hey, you look good. I feel a lot better about this situation. I feel better, too. Yeah, I think everybody behind the camera feel better. <laughs> yeah, for sure. They got to feel better. They got to. Yeah. <laughs> man, that's a good situation for him, man. Yeah. He in there by himself. They give him healing time and everything. You know what I'm saying? So. Temperature cool though, same. Good filtration on here. Good. Just got some fresh water in. What? <laughs> 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 ready. ready. Now we gotta get that blood pressure. Oh, you wanna catch him too? Where he at? Oh, he didn't hit behind that rock back there. Did he? Yeah, he behind that rock. That's his little spot. Where he he gonna get beat up, do he? You better come up out of there. Here we go. Come on, go this way. I'll get him. So I, I, I'm at a point now, I feel like I can't put nothing with these Oscars. You can't. Man. You think I should do that, put that dough vibe with him? Once the dough vibe get bigger, he'll be able to hold his own for sure with him. He ain't trying to come out, cuz. him over here to this 55. He going in the five or he in the? Nah, he going 55. He in the five? Yeah, he ain't that big. He look good in here with the, um, he is kind of big. He is. He looked the small inside that 75. Success. Yeah. But right now we got a new little buddy up in the pond chilling. You look damn good in here too. You look good in here. You look good. I'm not even gonna lie. You look good in here. A lot of room. Plenty of room. Plenty. Ain't no reason for him to do nothing more than what he doing. Just that. That's it. That's all they do anyway. Yeah. But we definitely gotta get that uh I can't say it. I wanna I mean I can say it, but I wanna you make can't it say that. Can't, you say that. can't say that. Can't say it. You gotta you gotta leave some type of suspense in there, huh? Yeah, suspense. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what I'm okay, we can. Down yeah. Yeah. What y'all think? What y'all think we get next for the pond? All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little footage of us um, putting the clown knife in the pond. But I'm gonna give you guys a little update in today, and just he's doing good. He's been really scary though, so I have to be super cautious when I walk past him because I hope he don't do it. I hope he do it on this video so you guys can see what he does, but. I just don't be trying to scare him too much. So I've been trying to walk past the pond real slow and real nice because if I walk past her too fast or something like that, he gets super startled. Um, but he's doing really good. Um, he looks real happy, but I just think that him being in the pond and me kind of like standing over him kind of startles him a lot. Um, so I've been trying to be calm with that. But it's looking good, man. Can't wait for probably the next couple of days we're going to be having a new... Uh, species of fish that's going to be going in here so y'all have to stay tuned if you haven't already turn your post notifications on because when i drop this video of what we getting for this y'all y'all ain't gonna want to miss that so turn on post notifications on but yeah man he's doing good super happy with it the oscars they didn't kind of settle down since i didn't took everybody out of their um tank they chilling now so no more aggression and I don't think they was trying to spawn. I don't know. I just think that they were just uh, super aggressive and wanting to fight all the time. 
so I don't I'm, I really don't know but I went ahead and moved as you guys see we moved this blood pair but since I put the blood pair in here he been over here trying to fight the red devil I'm just like you was in there getting bullied now you want to come over here and do the bullying so it's just like you know it's can't win for losing I really can't but I went ahead and did a little scaping not much I just had some extra artificial stuff laying around so I went ahead and put this little cave in here look at him see see that come on man you gotta chill out bro so he's he's been doing a lot of that so I, I don't know I might have to move <laughs> the blood parrot again because there's no reason for it should be this much aggression I have a freaking blood player like chill out bro it's not that serious but everything else in here is doing good. The Jack Dempsey's are doing good. There's another beautiful female Jack that never come out, but I wish I could see her. The red shark, red tail shark. Ever since I put these caves in here, he didn't calm down. He's not bothering nobody. It's just this dude now. Now he wants to be the bully. Better cut it out. But yeah, like I said, I added these little scapes and now they got some little caves to chill in couple little things I went ahead all the little horn work that was floating I just took I cut it in half and planted a couple of them and then let the rest just flow so they got a new little vibe in there you know it looks good I'm not gonna complain actually I just ain't really feeling that uh this dude right here he need to chill out look at that man and the red devil not even mean so we're gonna have to figure that out man I might end up getting rid of the blood parrot because um he was one of my rescue fish so i mean i gave it to uh, steve so steve you want to come get this other one you're more than welcome to come get him too <laughs> because uh i don't like i mean you really can't control aggression but you know i ain't finna deal with aggression with fish that i really don't even i didn't buy trust me i'm not dealing with it but yeah he's doing good can't wait to add his new tank mate or pond mate into here it's gonna be super awesome. Look how crazy this pothos is starting to take off. Look how big this leaf thing got since I put it in here. I said pothos, but this house plant, that's crazy. But I do wanna build a DIY filter on there. So let me know if you guys wanna see a video. I've been thinking about putting a, a nice DIY filtration system here that's gonna blow your mind. You ain't never seen it. So stay tuned if I do that, let me know. But what I want to talk about else today is, uh, we could talk about what's going on over here. Um, this is where the tank was sitting at. Well, this tank was sitting here. Now the tank was there that cracked yesterday. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll uh, go check that video out. Um, but I went ahead and put this 10 gallon here and this two and a half. So this is what I've been thinking, right? I've been thinking, you know, I can uh, always fix that tank later, but why not just use this space for something else? We can do another species right here in this 10 gallon. And I've been thinking about getting a uh, beta fish for this little two and a half. So I think that'd be super dope. I can skate this really nice and have a dope beta in there. And then we can get another species of fish that you guys want me to get. You guys can pick. And the weight of these two tanks will not be as much weight as one of these tanks sitting there. So I won't have to change my wood for right now because I'm not even in the market of going out and trying to buy any more wood. You know, I already built this and I'm not finna keep replacing it. So I think that's gonna be my plan going forward. It's just turning this into just two different scapes and have some cool fish. So let me know what y'all want to get for this tank. And uh, we got something coming for this tank here. And we got a super cool fish coming soon towards the end of this week. We got something super cool that's going to be going in this tank. So stay tuned. Can't wait for that. I hope everything go well. So I hope I'm not, you know, uh, putting my foot in my mouth right now. But hopefully everything come through. We have something going for that. But let's just get into what I was going to talk about and that is this DIY filter that I did today so this uh, filter I'm not gonna show you guys I guess I can show you let me get a I thought I had an old water bottle down here maybe I don't probably took it upstairs threw it away yeah I did so but pretty much what I'm gonna do is just kind of explain it what's going on here let me try getting a, a super crazy glare so pretty much this is a a power head. It's a typical power head that you can buy, right? And you guys see people do a DIY Joey. He didn't make tons of videos. He actually just made one recently about this. Um, but everybody makes them differently and I make mine different for what everybody else do. So most people, you can cut the bottom off or you can cut the top off. So what I did was I cut the top off and 
I took it down, right? And I put four holes in the bottom of it. Put four holes in the bottom of it, and then I put some filter floss in there. And then you see right here, this stuff, let me zoom in a little bit. You see all this right here, this is carbon. I took a bag of carbon and put a bag of carbon right here. And then this is just some regular biomedia. And then what's so beautiful about a regular uh, water bottle is it fits right on the spout of the power head. You don't even have to glue it on there, do nothing. Just put it on there and twist it and it fits perfectly. Now you see it got these rubber bands. So the rubber band is holding the top of it. So I took the top of the water bottle and I cut it in half. So you got two pieces, right? So I put the top of the water bottle onto there and then I put what I want to do inside of here and then I put um, the top back inside the bottle and I put the rubber bands pretty much to hold the two of them together. So pretty much I did this and this has been on here for maybe about an hour or two and you can see all the gunk that they has picked up already and the water column looks a lot better because this water column was super just murky just super murky so i'm like man i gotta do something and i didn't want to go out and buy a new filter so i just made one i had an extra power head sitting around so i just made a filter so eventually this will all become super black and i will have to change that but it's a real super easy change and all i gotta do is just pull it out put some more filter floss in there keep my carbon in there and boom so you guys can see the difference it has made on this it's a super glare from all these lights down here but you can see the difference that it has made there's still a lot floating in the water column but for the most part the water column is super more clear so if you got an extra power head laying around try this you can even put a bigger bottle you can do like a big two uh two liter pretty much almost if you really wanted to you can go up to a two liter and make you a filter out of a two liter so try it you know if you got a power head on try it and i guarantee you it'll work but what I want to do is I got these like artificial plants and stuff laying around. So I want to add some of these to this aquarium because it looked good. I went ahead and added like these little fake green plants right here today. But I, I got this little fake stuff laying around. I've been having a whole bunch of stuff laying around. Um, so I want to add that to here. So we're going to do that right now. So just rock with me because you know me i ain't editing nothing it's gonna be just pure raw uncut footage and this is gonna add another element to this tank just to give it something else um just to give it another element and i could do like actual planting here i thought about maybe putting like some amazon swords or something like that like some big amazon swords or something and that probably will work two but i'm just gonna go with the artificial stuff because these uh type of fish you know kind of hard to keep plants with these uh type of fish anyway unless it's like some hornwort or something <clears throat> this dang light keep tipping over but just based off of how i got this So you see how this look now since I added a few little plants to it. It's all murky again, so it's going to have to clear up again. But I think this looks a lot better in here. Because um, now it gives it more life, more greenery. And also, it gives the fish more places to hide or make them feel safe. And kind of lower some more aggression that be going on in this tank. Because it do be a little bit of aggression in this tank. I've been noticing there's been some few fin nipping going on. So we're going to keep watching that. I think it looks really good. What you guys think? I think it looks dope. And these VA houses are starting to get some color too. Really can't see. I know that might not be the one, the other one. And you can see like on this Texas cichlid right here, it's been. So they've been, it's been a little fighting going on here. So you can see that color coming out of them a little bit, starting to get some red coming out. Texas cichlid whole fan is off man so i don't know who's the corporate culprit for that but uh we'll keep watching i'm thinking it's this guy right here and i went ahead and found two females so now i found that there's two comic females living in here they stand behind this rock that's back there so 
I could catch them out and put them in there, but I feel like if I put them in there, it's going to become a straight fight all the time because they're really going to try to breathe. So I can already see now one pair going to be here, one pair going to be there, and they're going to be battling with each other, going back and forth. So we ain't going to do that. I ain't got time for that. And this tank ain't big enough for all that activity. So uh, we'll have to do something about that. But I am going to be changing. My partner brought it to my attention that I need to take these uh, plecos out of here. And I've been meaning to do that, but we just don't have enough tanks for them. They need their own tank and all our tanks are occupied at the moment or we got tanks that that's too small or you know they need more room than that so we're going to be getting them another fish tank here soon and we're going to have just our own pleco breeding uh tank because you know why not <laughs> but what else is going on down here oh i'm going to go around and feed some fish i got some blood worms right here that i have been thawing out for a while and we're going to go around and feed a little bit if I can find my utensil. Alright. I want to start with this pond over here. Um, just because it's the new fresh list thing that has changed. Uh, so this pond is looking really, really good. Go ahead and feed these guys. I think one day I'm going to take my GoPro and just come through all my tanks and stuff. And uh, I'm gonna come through all my tanks and just go like some underwater video of all the tanks, the ponds, put some cool, cool music behind it or something. I think that'd be a dope little video. I might do that one day for y'all. Let y'all get some underwater footage of the pond. I swear everything is so much harder with one hand. So yep, all the fish are healthy in here. Plants are looking good. This is gonna t mature. I'm not gonna fool with this no more. Uh, I'm satisfied with it. I'm not gonna fool with this pond no more. I'm gonna let these fish mature in here and do their thing. Um, there is some baby African cichlids in here. So as they get too big, I pull them out. I actually see one right there. Matter of fact, right on that rock with that, you got like a little orange tail. Um, so once those guys start to get a little bigger, I'll move them out and get them a better enclosure. Well, just put them with their parents pretty much or sell them pretty much. All right, we can just go, let's get these guys going. See if they come out, they probably won't. Weird fish, he right there. But they wanna hide inside the rocks like usual. Oh, okay, got a little action, come on. Look at their mouth. They got like weird mouths. Their mouths are like white. And that's probably from fighting and stuff, I'm thinking. Finally, I can get these guys on camera feeding. It's been a minute. But these are my rusty cichlids, African cichlids. Cool fish, cool fish. Let's feed these guys. I don't really feed um, too much live to them. They're growing up really nice. I want to get the parents to come out. That's what I'm looking for. Let's feed these guys over here. I know they ready to eat. Always ready to eat. Never fails. I've been seeing a lot of, uh, a little bit of aggression out of these guys. Male, he be trying to beat these females up a little bit. I'm gonna keep an eye on that. They eating good. Let's try to feed these guys that we picked up recently. These um, probenses. Look out! They just be hiding up under their cave, and then once I throw a little food, they come out. They 
There's a bunch of them in here. They just had some really good hiders, too. Come on. There's one over here. Just popped out. It's auto right on the glass. Like, what up? I can't even focus because you it wanna focus on you. That's dope. They doing good though. Let's get some more. Feed these guys right here. Come on out. Real scary fish, I swear. They ain't on nothing. They ain't on nothing. Let's feed these. I know they. I know they on something. up in there. They don't play no games when it comes to this food. For sure they don't. Feed these guys right here. Focus is kind of whack because there's so much of a glare from the other tanks. But y'all can still see them though. Definitely gonna be still getting some dither fish for all of these tanks. So these tanks are gonna be a lot more active um, soon. Look at that male, I know he's gonna come out. There was some aggression going on inside this tank, but that has subsided. I be forgetting I got these mollies in here because they black. You never see them. Never see them. Dope. Can't wait to breed this fish out more. Beautiful, beautiful fish. What up, Oscars? Let's feed these guys right here. These uh, Australian rainbows. Well, that's what they were sold to me as. They going crazy for the food, boy. For them to be like a docile fish they're a good eater. I caught this dude trying to escape <laughs> yesterday. He was like almost out the back of the tank. I said, oh man, I got a problem. This dude right here. And he ain't ate this other minnow yet, so I don't know what that's about. But he ain't got down on him. I'm sure he probably will. Let's feed these birds. Oh, put a bunch in there. Let's see if they come out though. I'm trying to get these guys to come out. Camera man, they just do not mess with the camera. They don't be fooling with it. I back away though. They'll be all out eating that stuff. But we ain't got time for that. We'll go ahead and feed this tank. Oh, ready and get down on it? Ain't used to it? Nah. That's surprising. 
that is very surprising as you can see one of them that came out now beautiful fish beautiful beautiful fish let's throw some of this in here with these dove eyes this dude just he gonna look at it because he ain't used to getting stuff like this anyways but i just threw it in there see there he attacked it but y'all seen how he jumped at it he about ready to start eating live fish and this tank glass just never on my side every day this is like worse than my salt tank Every day I gotta clean this glass. Every day. And this light's never on. I only turn the light on to come film. And I still gotta clean this every day. It's crazy. Who else need to eat? Oh, yeah. Gotta feed the stunners over here. Once they find out that there's food in here, they're gonna come out. But the fish don't really get this type of diet often, so they they don't really be excited over this stuff. They don't. They do not get excited over them blood worms. But let me throw their favorite pellets in here, though. They would go crazy. See what these guys do down here. I went ahead and scaped this a little bit, put a couple of rocks in here, um, just to get some more high spots in here. Cause they was uh this male was chasing two females around. You can see one female high in back there. Two, I think they both are back there, be honest. And he kind of like takes over this little area over here. And you can see the females right there, beautiful females. Haven't seen no breeding yet, but I'm sure that it'll happen over time. I'm sure it will happen. But they like they seem to like the um what you call it? These guys and came out now. Dope. Super dope. A bit more in here. Prolific eaters. I'm talking about I ain't never gotta worry about the health of these fish. Never. This tank is my best tank down here. To be honest, all the fish are super healthy. Everything is on point. Never had any problems with this aquarium or nothing. It's just perfect. Let's see if we can feed this flower horn. See if he'll take some. down on that stuff. Beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Throw a little bit down here in these guppies. You no, know, I love my guppies. Take this top off because I can't pour that stuff in there. Lord, no, I love my guppies. Every time I left the hobby and came back, these are the first type of fish I would buy would be some guppies. Because you can never go wrong. Go ahead and uh, in the video right here. If you guys enjoyed today's video, Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content, man. I'll be getting a lot of new subscribers from uh, TikTok. So if you came from TikTok, man, shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my TikTokers out there. If you've been supporting the channel, man, shout out to you. I really appreciate you. And, uh, you know, if you guys got any more ideas, any things you want me to do, any fish you want me to get, um, yeah, just let me know in the comment section, man.
share these videos, share them with your friends. If they like fish, share the videos with them. You know what I'm saying? Tell them to check it out. But uh, that's pretty much it. I'll holler at you guys. Be safe. I'm out of here.